Okay, happy to welcome back our good friend Von Bell. Um, you know, you guys have heard me talk about Vaughn a million times, and you know, he's he's the ultimate standard setter. Um, you know, his process is always positive in the locker room, tremendous presence. Uh, you know, he's been a part of some of the biggest plays in Bengals history, and we're happy to get him back here. And and we gotta we gotta create many more of the greatest plays in Bengals history. So very happy that that Vaughn's back here and. Um, I'll let you all fire right with him, at him. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Um, at peace. Uh, glad to be back. I feel warm. Glad to see a lot of familiar faces with the coaches. A lot of guys hit me up, and it's just great to be back for sure. Man, with the, I think, connection of the people here. And uh, especially with the coaching staff and the, and the guys in the locker room, and that locker room is very special. And uh, just going out the, the war with your brothers, and it's like you, know, you don't feel by yourself, and that's that's the number one thing. So I'm glad to be back. I feel like home, and um, we're ready to get to it. It was stressful at first, but I let God have that, and God handled it, and um, He made a way. He opened up doors for me. So. I'm glad to be back, and uh, we're ready to get to work. I can't really speak on that, but in my mind, yeah. I don't know, Lou, for sure. He said, what are we doing? <laughs> but uh, that's my guy, man. Um, and uh, we have a connection, a bond. It'll last forever. And um just hearing his voice made me calm down. So it was a lot of anxiety for sure. But first time going through that, but it's over now. It's in the past. I'm in the now. Vaughn, is it good to be back here and be part of an organization where you came so close to winning a championship? How meaningful was it to you to now be back in this building and understand that nothing has changed as far as the goals are concerned? For sure. Um, it's about the process, really, though. Know? And just, you got to put the work. And you got to put the, the, the energy and effort. Everybody got to be all in. And um, just seeing the uh, familiar faces with the locker room, the sky should be the limit. And uh, you got to hold guys accountable and just come out here and, and contribute and go to work every day. And, um, and that's going to be a part of the process. Sure, but it's a lot of them. But you know, I don't dwell on those. But uh, it's a lot of them. But the interception going to the Super Bowl—that's number one for me, because uh, that's the final destination. That's where you want to be at. At the end of the day. Vaughn, how much maybe do you feel like still your inside of you wants to play? A lot. I still feel young. Um, go out ready, run around, make plays, and le help lead and uh, contribute in any way I can. And um, just happy for the opportunity. They said, be you, and let everything else play out. How much has made it now that you have the draft and how you guys move the way that Kevin has been for you and all that? You come back now, and there's a lot of new guys that are all excited. Uh, what's, what's a realistic expectation going into the year? How much are you comfortable with that, that kind of team? That's when you got to be around the guys, just outside of football, getting to know them, getting to know how they move and how they operate, getting to know their families. And that's, that's where it creates a deeper connection with guys because it's just more than just ball because it's really a brotherhood. Gina said she met you while she visited the last place. You remember that? Yeah, I remember Gina. <laughs> Great player. But, uh, man, because I see him around sometimes in the off season, and it's always just love every time I see him, ask him how he's doing. And it's just little things like that that goes a long way when you ask somebody how they're doing, how their family's doing, and that creates that bond. No, I haven't. First time for me. <laughs> what was that? What was that about? Uh, it's kind of weird, uh, but it's what it is. You know, that's why I say I'm in the now, a little bit behind, but it definitely gonna fuel to the fire for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. But when when that time comes, it's gonna come. Are you aware of Carolina's on schedule? Oh yeah, it's bulletin board material. Oh, 
um, when guys hit me up, like basically the whole team, and it's like, okay, let's go. So I feel like I still have a voice, but you know, I'm sit back and observe everything and be myself and come here every day and go to work and put my head down and work. For sure, always. Just left the bad taste in my mouth. It's vital. Um, guys got to be on the same page, same one accord, and we got to see things the same. And um, that's huge because, you know, if it get past us, it's strike up the band. But uh, you never want those because explosives could lose a game. And then you never want to do that when you got a great offense and they're, they're making plays. You want to give stops to them and get the ball back as much as possible to them. But man, having everybody on the same page is vital. Spend time with them. And that's what I'm saying. Outside of football, in the in the in the uh, meeting rooms, and you you want guys to ask questions about how you see things or how can we communicate this, and uh, so and how ways we can figure out how to make plays with through in that call or whatnot. So that's what you gotta do. I do. <laughs> I do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. He just asked me, was it true? <laughs> Good scene. We text a lot. That's my brother. I mean, no matter what the circumstances is, it's a brotherhood for life. And uh, always happy for him. And we was always pulling for each other. Because we still had our little in-between things that going on when we get receptions and make a – Turnover or something, but yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I was kind of weird at first, but it was glad to see him like going crazy. You know, I wanted I wanted that form for sure, and um, I love to see that light shine on. For sure, yeah, yeah. I seen that look in his eyes. <laughs> it's the people, and they know me, and um, know the system, and um, so they ain't too much stress on me. Just go be yourself, and um, let things play out. Supposed to play out, and um, just come to work every day. And um, you want to be somewhere that's, that people that know you, especially going to my years now, it's like I don't want to be a casualty. And um, so you want to go where people know you. They know your heart. They know your work ethic. And, um, and you want an opportunity at the big game, for sure. I just got to sit down and talk to him and see where his mental at. And uh, I can always give him my success and failures. And uh, he's got to keep on pushing and keep on being himself and keep on diving deep into the, into that, that playbook. And um, he just got to see how he could develop and keep going with his maturation process um, and just really study himself of, of his successes and failures. I'm sorry. I'm telling you, it goes all right. A lot of love here. A lot of love. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I've seen a lot of flashes, naked plays on the ball. I was just talking about that the other day. They were playing the Monday night game against Jacksonville. He made a big pass break up on Ridley. I was like, man, that was a good play. And um, I'm always hearing about him, you know. Um, guys in the locker room tell me about him that you'll love him, his work ethic. He's a playmaker. And I said, okay, let's go.
my idol. Still on it. <laughs> I was watching every game. <laughs> watching every game for sure. Um, that's all I was telling. I was like, man, they're my people right there. So I always kept in and locked in on tabs and see how guys was doing and checking in on them for sure. Very hard. It was heavy on my heart, but um, I let that I let that go, and now I'm in the now. <laughs>